what's going on you welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can reduce input latency and input delay in fortnite i hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end do leave your specs down in the comments below and with all this said let's get started All right, step number one begins with reanimating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations and reducing them will help you to fix your input latency. For that, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows right over here and then click on adjust for best performance. Then simply click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to keep your windows look intact. And once you're done with that, simply click on apply. Step number two is system configuration. And for that, you have to search for system configuration on your PC. And over here, you have to click on the boot set Settings, click on advanced option, click on numbered processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Once it is done, simply click on OK, then go over to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and then you have to deselect all of your Adobe, fan control services, RGB services, browser update services and so on. But make sure to only disable the services that you are aware of. Just like I have done it, I've already disabled my Adobe, my ASUS fan control service, then my browser update services, everything related to that. Once it is done, simply click on apply and then click on OK. Next step is disabling startup applications. And for that, you have to search for startup applications over here. And once you're in startup apps, what you have to do is you have to go and disable all of the unwanted and unnecessary startup applications that you do not want to start with your PC's boot up. This will ensure that your PC is utilizing lowest amount of applications and memory in the background. And this will in turn reduce your input delay because there are less number of processes processes running in the background. I've already done it for me. So now let's move to the next step that is right under the gaming section. You have to go over to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. This will help you to turn off things running in the background and it will give you better FPS and better performance. And right beneath that there is graphic settings. You have to open this thing up and all of the game lies in the default settings. You have to click on change default graphic settings. And right over here you have to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimization for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU more than your CPU and it will also reduce input latency based on advanced features compatible with the games. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step, you have to look up for device manager on your PC and over here, you have to open up this window and in the system devices, you have to find four devices. First one is the composite bus enumerator and you have to disable this thing. Then you have to find a high precision event timer also known as HPET, you have to disable this as well next is numeric data processor i do not have it on my pc but if you do find numeric data processor in the system devices you have to remove that as well and then the sm bus controller you have to disable them as well now what you have to do is right click on it and then you have to uh, click on disable device and that is how you should do it next is under the network adopters you have to open up your network adapter choose your ethernet controller right click on it and then you have to click on properties right over here go to power management and then make sure that the first option allow the computer turn of this device to save power is turned off then you can simply click on ok and now you have to close it next step is fixing all of your internet issues and input latency using exit lag exit lag is a free to use tool you can download it from the link in the description below all right once you open up exit lag the interface should look like this on the left hand side you can find a list of over 1000 games to choose from you can simply look up for fortnite over here the game that you want to utilize this application for and then you have to choose the nearest game region to you for me it will be dubai 01 simply select it and it will show you the estimated ping that you're going to get simply 
click on apply routes and Fortnite will be added to your recent list. Now you have to go to the tools section and enable all of these options and then also click on enable high DPI scaling resolution. Also enable all of these options like real time optimization, smart optimization, IPv6, QoS priority, dual routes and high UDP ports. Once it is done, you have to go to the FPS boost section, enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option. And this will help you to also improve your FPS and reduce your input latency in the game. I'll leave a link to exit lag down in the description below so you guys can go and check it out. If it helps you get a subscription plan, you can get 40% off from my link. So go check out exit lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC. Then over here you have to look for local disk C, simply click on create and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving the system integrity. If you want to restore everything back to normal, you can always do that without any data loss. Last step is the Fortnite input delay fix pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below this is a must do pack because it will help you to fix your registries and it will help you to reduce your input buffer so the first thing over here you'll find is the batch files and over here you have to run the clean log files log files are temporary files generated on your pc this includes your crash dumps and other settings and once you run this thing as an administrator you guys can see it starts deleting all of the unwanted dumps from your pc and this will help you to fix your input latency let it run the background next thing is the input delay fix batch file i will tell you guys how to run this thing right click and run this as administrator it consists of some commands that you do not have to apply manually to your pc and these are specifically designed for fortnite so you don't have to run all of them step by step you can simply run this whole file and it will automatically execute all of these commands last one is lower input lag and boost fps you have to run this registry as well and once it is done you have to go back to the second folder which is the mouse latency registries over here you'll find disable pointer precision globally now you can disable your pointer precision but for laptop users i'd recommend you guys not to do that because if you use a touchpad it will become extremely slow however if you have a dedicated mouse or you're a pc user i highly recommend you guys to do this thing second one is the fix mouse delay and it adds a whole new set of registries to your mouse your mouse matches the real-time movement of your hand next one is the keyboard latency fix and for that i would like to request you all to leave your keyboard specifications down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here next is the cmd optimization in which you have the command input files so for that you have to copy the first command then you have to open up the command prompt as administrator and once you're over here you have to paste this command press enter then copy the second command over here paste it again and then do this one this will take a little while so make sure to let it run it helps you check your disk integrity and if there are any issues or corruption with your hard disk drives or your ssd it will automatically help you to fix the health of your hard disk drive or your storage drive this is also a leading cause of your input latency and it will not just work for your Fortnite but all the games. Once it is done, it will show you that the restoration operation has been completed successfully. Now it's time for the third command that is this one. You have to paste it right over here. I have already done it previously, so it did not execute. But if you're doing it for the first time, it will. Now, if you want to restore these commands, you can always paste the following commands right beneath that and reset your whole values. Once again, that was all to fix your input latency and get better performance in your Fortnite. I am also planning to make a video on fixing your controller latency. And if you guys leave a like on this video, we will surely work around that video as well. Subscribe to the channel and check out the channel membership. We'll see you in another amazing brand new video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.